Hello? Can anybody hear me? I think we're good. Hello and welcome to my first remote session. Now some of you may know me as Richard or Michael's dad or the hairy guy who keeps wearing shorts even when it's really cold from your Thursday afternoon or evening beaver meetings. However, unfortunately we don't have any beaver meetings for the foreseeable future because of a little thing called coronavirus. Now, I know that you've been working very hard towards one of your badges, specifically your space badge. So, in order to try and help you get the space badge, I've decided to do this little video where you can learn about the space badge at home and hopefully meet your requirements so you can get your badge without even having to turn up to beavers. I think that's pretty awesome. So, if you remember few weeks ago, when was it? January, February, anyway, it doesn't matter. But I gave you three options of space missions that we wanted to learn about. And the one that you voted for was, I don't know if you can read this, Mars 2020. So, what is Mars 2020? I know, let's have a look on Wikipedia. Get my phone, and let's have a look. Okay, so Mars 2020 is a mission where they're sending a spacecraft to Mars in, you guessed it, the year 2020. So, what are they doing? Who's doing it? Where? And when? Well, I've just answered a few of those questions. So, it's NASA. They are doing an exploration mission to the Jezero Crater in Mars. They're launching it this year, or they're supposed to launch it this year, in 2020, and it's going to arrive there in 2021. Now, a year is quite a long time, but that's because Mars is very far away, so it takes quite a long time to get to Mars. Now, here's a big question, why are they doing this? They are doing this to see if there was once life on Mars. Is there life on Mars? In other words, aliens. Do aliens exist? I don't know, but I guess we'll find out when the rover gets there and learns about them. Maybe. So, how is it going to do this? Well, it's going to do this by sending a little scientific rover buggy over to Mars, and it's going to collect soil samples. And it's going to take those soil samples and store them very safely. Then, on a future mission, they're going to send another spacecraft to Mars and they're going to pick those soil samples up. They're going to bring them back to Earth and analyse them to see if there was any evidence of life on Mars in the past. And that's about it. So, how does this fit in with your Beavers badge? Well, I've told you about the mission, but... It's no good me just telling you about the mission, you've got to learn a bit more about yourself, obviously. So, what you're going to do is, you are going to be building your own special Mars rover. How do you do that? Well, I don't know. I haven't thought that far ahead, so I'm going to finish off this little video, work out how I'm going to tell you to build a rover, and then I'm going to create a new video that you'll be watching just after this video, which in my time will be a couple of hours later, but in your time will just be a couple of seconds later, and then we'll go from there. Confused? Like they think you are. Good. Alright, see you in a second. And we're back. So, I've just asked you to design and make your own special Mars 2020 rover. But, it can't just be any rover. I have a few rules. So, what are these rules? Well, these rules are designed by something that's called a P. DS. That stands for a Product Design Specification. So what is a PDS? A PDS is something that tells you what something has to be made like. So I'll give you a really simple example, a car. If you was doing a product design specification for a car, you're obviously going to need wheels so it can drive. You're also going to need a steering wheel, 
so you can go in the right direction. You're also going to need seats so you can sit down and seat belts to keep you safe, etc, etc. You know how it goes. So, I have defined a really complex and exhaustive product design specification. There's only five points. And they are numero uno. The rover must be able to move. Kind of obvious, really. So it's got to go to different places within the Jezero crater in Mars to pick up different types of soil samples. Number two. It must be called Perseverance. Now, the rover is going to be called Perseverance, which, rather ironically, in the olden days, when I was a beaver, my scout group was called Perseverance. Don't believe me? Here's my necker. Look. Perseverance. Isn't that weird? Anyway, don't need this anymore, because I'm with you guys now. Rule number three. The rover must have space to store samples. So there's no point in going and picking up soil samples if you've got nowhere to store them. It needs to be able to store them safely. So a bit like when you get in your car, you've got loads of stuff, you put it in the boot. So you've, the rover has effectively got to have a boot in it. Rule number four. Must have a grabbing arm. So the rover is going to Mars, but there's no people inside it. So it needs some sort of strange, weird mechanical grabbing arm to be able to grab the samples and then put it into the boot. And rule number five, the most important one, it must be made by you. And you must have fun doing it. Or there's no point, let's be honest. So, what I want you to do after you've done this, I want you to share some information of what you've done. So this could be in the guise of photos of your rover that you've built, or you could have drawn it up on a piece of paper, so you could share that drawing, or you can just also write a description of what your rover is, and what it does, and what's really cool about it. So those things you can just send on an email, or bring to your next beaver meeting whenever that is. Ideally, send it on an email to Pippa and Rachel, and we'll be able to look at it and look at all the really cool things that you've done. That'd be a great thing. Right, so, while coming up with PDS, I had a few ideas, and I've got a little idea of what I want my rover to look like. So, let's just have a look here. What an awesome drawing that is. You can see, it's got the wheels, it's got the little grabby arm, it's got the little boot at the back for storing the stuff. I think we're going to be fine. Okay, so it's time for me to stop talking. Time for you guys to start being creative. Think, build, do whatever you can. Now, your rover can be made out of anything, absolutely anything. It can be made out of wood and metal, although I wouldn't recommend you start doing metal work. It could be made out of Lego. It could be made out of Playmobil. It could be made out of Kinex. You could make it out of toilet roll if you want to, although I'm sure your parents really, really don't want you wasting toilet roll right now. But anyway, you can make it out of anything you want. Be creative and have fun, and I will catch you soon. Good evening beavers. I'm back. Did you think I'd left you? Of course not. So, I left you with the instructions to make a Mars rover. And I thought, well, I've told you to make it. It'd be a bit unfair if I didn't make one, did I? So, in true fashion, here is one I made earlier, or just now. So this is my rover. It's made out of awesome stuff called Kinex. And as you can see, it has wheels, has a little steering wheel, there's even room in the front for the beaver to sit in, where it can drive if it wants to. Hello, beaver of a week. It also has a nice little arm 
it has a container at the back for you to put your soil samples in and the best thing about it I've taken the grabber with an elastic band on it and it snaps shut so it's a nice little grabby arm so now that I've made my rover I'm gonna start my space mission to Mars did I tell you that I was actually sending it to Mars? I didn't did I? Well. I'm sending it to Mars, and if you stay tuned to the video, you can see the live podcast, well, not live, pre-recorded, the pre-recorded podcast of my very exciting space mission. Hope you enjoy. Stay tuned.